what does the OD do? Yeah. I guess you can't use one Meepo very effectively, but you've got the other one. I don't actually know how this matchup goes because uh, OD hasn't really been a relevant hero. Being run down in the top lane, mid stun, Black, he's gonna miss out here as that only Necro House is able to pick up the early kill, and Ohio sends back Eternal Envy, but that's not gonna stop those two supports from running down Ohio. All they need is vision right now, Ohio, playing around the trees. What Ohio beautiful run? juke, is he actually gonna be able to get away from this one? The Braves have no, he does go down, he buys right, a lot what's of time. Going on? Black, can he actually be able There's to get any sort of kill? It. They're just gonna keep running him down, the combination of Necro Pulse plus the Wiz, he's making them just too damn powerful. Black runs back into the tier one tower, <laughs> this is so he's funny. finding out the charge right now. Eternal Envy, he's being uh, charged he up, so he's dead. taking so many tower shots. Pile I die, uh, I think they're just stuck here. It's gonna be a two-man death as eventually the Spirit Breaker is gonna make his way in. They gotta get out of here eventually, but they only have they one know. Tango to work with. They're gonna try and go for the tree block, they actually get it! They kill the tree, the Necropulse goes out, Net finally makes his way in, goes straight for Pile I die. Pile I die is actually living though, and Net's gonna be forced back. Unbelievable, Secret actually get away! What an innovative use of the tether to be able to break that one last tree that was blocking them from being able to escape from the side. Well, to work with. Yeah. So he should be able to get most of the CS. You can see him throwing down some boost. Top lane, nice double stun. Eternal Envy, though. Man. The early power of that uh, combination of Necrophos and Wiss, they have just so much sustain. Looks like they're actually going to try and run down Ohio here. Eternal Envy gets another right click, and yeah, Ohio will be taken out. It's the last one coming out from Eternal Envy. And remember, he does have the early level of Sadis. He picked that up at level two, so if you still have to wait for that full Aghanim Scepter Blink Dagger build. Uh, DJ is going to be caught here. They managed to land the Impale very nicely. The uh, Ensnare goes out, and boom, boom, boom. Weeha picks up the first kill for himself. And that was the weak part of uh, Secret lineup so far, is that this... That was the weak part of uh, Secret's lineup so far, is that this safe lane Nyx was kind of getting bullied a lot by that Darkseer. He was doing okay for himself because of the oh, weekend. Ohio! Oh. He's going to be able to live through that ultimate, but the follow-up damage will still actually kill him. Now Black still isn't good enough to run away. Face down these two heroes. Net, he comes in going straight for Pylai Dai. Mushi's actually going to come in, and do they have enough burst damage? They finally take down Pylai Dai, and Eternal Envy is left in a nasty spot against three other heroes. If Black can land this stun, they can actually go for the kill, but Black has to play careful still around Eternal Envy, who's got some magic wand charges. They lead with the OD, Astral Imprisonment, follow-up stun, will be able to land, and Eternal Envy has no more mana to work with. Throws out the wand charges, but it does doesn't make a difference. Mushi gets a double kill. Great rotation by him. Leveled and pretty farmed it. In this game, it's going to matter a lot just because uh, you notice that he's going for Max and Mana Burn first and Weeha. Then, I mean, he's still not charging out of here and he's done for. Luffy picks up the kill off of the Brain Sap. Weeha just gets a little bit more assist. going to be just because Mushi's so far. At behind. the same time, in the bottom lane, DJ's actually dropping pretty low. Misery had the haste rune earlier. They will be able to get just enough mana on DJ to get a surge, but is he far enough ahead? It looks like Misery can still land the stun. Oh, just short there. And Misery oh, is going to be back. Charge out on a pile I die. They have the tether ready to go. Eternal Levy trying to keep pile alive, but nope, nope, nope. See you later, die. Eternal Levy. They actually get Astral Imprisonment. That's because oh, Weeha smoke out there. in. Weeha throws out the net. Misses one. Puppy's also coming in. They have the Fiends group for it. And there's no response from Fnatic. They will just let Mushi die. And he's actually going to get deleted too. That is perfect. They get the Reaper sign. Deleting the uh, OD for an extra 30 seconds. Back to bottom lane now. DJ again in a bit of trouble as Misery just got to be able stun. to land this stun. DJ desperately trying to dodge it, but doesn't happen. I like die helps out Misery. And they'll finally be able to pick off that Dark Seer. It's 10 minutes into a game, and that OD's dead for a full minute. <laughs> yeah. Eternal Envy will be running into Mushi here, but he does have the backup. He's actually going to go for the Meteor Rod of Atos. The charge comes in, and Ned is actually going to be able to fight him with the Seer, but Weeha comes in, the ultimate goes down. Mushi still managed to live, gets off the ultimate just before he dies, but it doesn't matter. With the help of Pylai die, Eternal Envy easily stays alive. And uh, Team Secret win yet another skirmish. I mean, it's bad enough that the Rod of Atos, and this is just going to make fights even harder. Ohio slept up here, and they're just going to go for that quick support kill. Just throws out the kinetic field, but there's nothing else he can do, and it feels like Disruptor is in the Meepo, and these heroes are kind of spread out, farming up all over the map, but now they're getting a ton of kills on top of everything else. Ohio, oh, Rodomato is going to be slowed down, the stun misses, but it doesn't really matter. The Fiend's Grip holds him in place long enough for Necrophos to get another kill. And this left track again, he just hasn't had any room to recover. He's got 2,800 net. He's actually behind the main, and yeah, this is an high. Do they actually have the power? They don't have uh, Fiend's Grip yet. So they can hold him in place for a while with a sleep, maybe. 
and see if they can center up. The urn is taking him down. If they get another brain sap, DJ is definitely dead. He doesn't have uh, a TP yet for another 20 seconds. He's just going to be hit by the balls constantly until Pilai Dai gets a dominating streak. That is the worst sign in the world if you're a Fnatic fan. A wisp with a spree at all is uh, a bit absurd. Yeah, and he's going to get the pretty fast glimmer kick too. This is a Pilai Dai that I thought was going to be pretty underfarmed, especially since Puppy's going for this mech, and it's actually going to be Secret that are just going to go for the death ball. Like, they've almost got a mech completed on their four position bait, which is pretty ridiculous right now. Three locates coming out. Pilai Dai's brought Puppy. They're going to turn things around and go straight for Ohio. Ohio does manage to lock down Weehaw. They have to take out the speed bump, but the sleep comes out. Defensive sleep, and Weehaw's going to be able to stay alive through all of that one. They've deleted the last strike. Mushi's going to be caught in the beam grip as well, and Fnatic just crumbling at the scene. Oh, he's got no 17 to 4. It's going to be made an 18 for Team Secret. As they're going to try and run down net. Looks like a charge away. And he gets some distance, but he's heading over to Pilai Dai. Pilai Dai, he's like, fight me. I've got an herd. I've got the ball. Let's go, big boy. Unstoppable three from Pilai Dai. That's like the weirdest situation where you run away from a Necro and it's even scarier to run into a Wisp right now. Yeah. Rocking two different Blink Taggers, one on the Nyx Assassin and the other one being picked up by Eternal Envy's Necro Pulse. They're going to make the initiation in the top lane. A great Disruptor ultimate. They will have the relocate on top of that one. Mystery is immediately targeted down, but Mushi is left with the Fiend's Grip once again. More TPs come in from Team Secret. They're going to see if they can catch any more heroes with uh, Weehawk and the Haste Rune. They actually have the ability to catch some one here, but it looks like Fnatic have split themselves just well enough to keep all four heroes alive. He didn't even spell anymore in the game aside from the darts here, but he's pretty underleveled right now. He does have the max vacuum wall, but he doesn't even have follow up, and everyone's just gonna filter in. DJ's gonna go down, and there goes your last hope at being able to get some sort of wombo combo off. And with OD not having his ultimate anymore either, that 105 second cooldown is such a killer. Uh, the Wisp is gonna just keep everyone healthy, and once the Meepo comes back up here, I don't really know how they continue to hold. Yeah, I mean, the, the fact that they're too over-aggressive at this point. Like, a lot of times teams might go for the smoke, uh, but it's actually going to be secret that are going to go for uh, smoke, try to get aggressive, and yeah, quick pick off Misery is going to finish him off with a blink in, Mana Burn, and Disruptor. Definitely one of the more dangerous heroes when it comes to pushing uphill. The problem's going to be, <laughs> it's probably a first world problem, if at best, but Disruptor has a very low death timer this early on to the game, so... They're actually going to go for a relocate at top. Misery is going to try and catch him out. They'll get DJ. They have the ultimate from the Necro Pulse. Bye bye, DJ. Down for 75 seconds now. And they've caught the OG as well with Weehawk. Sneaking in through the back door. We'll be able to get another one. 22 to 4. 20 minutes in. Over a kill a minute for Team Secret. And Eternal Envy is really not. Like, the vacuum ball is always pretty scary. But with that down, there's not a whole lot that they have to worry about. Oh, nice. Weehawk's double jump. Weehawk's going to be able to pop the disruptor. Unfortunately, he's hit by the ultimate. But doesn't mean much. You still got so much to stay in the mech. The uh, Necropole guy's like, ah, I like your pipe choice. I'll go ahead and pick one up for myself. Straight Hooded Defiance, already completed pipe. And Team Secret gonna force a round two. Misery on the front line to get the charge on right up through the puppy. They're gonna try and pop him immediately. Won't be able to get it twice. Yet. Oh, what a five man back and right to the wall. But is that going to be enough? DJ makes the biggest of plays, but it doesn't seem to matter. Fnatic are still being run straight back to their fountain. That's gonna be caught by the speed script. Charges right on through. Hits a turtle Levy. Doesn't have that ultimate anymore, but looks like they'll still catch Mushi as well as Ned surrounding these heroes. And Fnatic, they know it's all over. If you can't get it with a five man back, you wall like that from DJ then you're never going to win a fight. You pretty much just had to try at least that one time to go for it. And again, if it doesn't work out, this Meepo was pretty insane. Yeah. Like he just kind of ran in. Nobody could really stop him. You disrupt one, he's like, okay, well, there's four more of me. And so Fnatic may have to think about start banning away some of those signature heroes like Weehaw's Meepo. But a rough time for Fnatic.